Hello and welcome to the Control 4 Composer Guide for Access Industries. I'm Kyle, a designer here at Access. I'm going to give a quick overview, then go through the proxy binding connections, then programming, and I'll finish with property settings. Our basic version is powered by a wall plug, but if you order the power over ethernet version, it'll work on PoE or wall plug. It functions as a Zigbee router repeater. There's also three relays and three contact sensors. Here we have our usual proxy binding connection for temperature. We also have connections for each of the three relays and three contact sensors. A common use for these is to bind them to generic garage door drivers and use the control for navigator to see if doors are open or closed. You can also tap the garage door icons in navigator to trigger the relays to open or close the doors. Please see our guide for more details. There are events for when contacts are open or closed, as well as when relays are opened or closed. If you want other actions to be executed when relays are triggered, you can trigger those actions off the relay events or variables. For this example here, relay 1 will be triggering the garage door. So when the garage door is triggered by the relay, let's also turn on a light for 2 minutes. There are variables for each contact and relay state as well as temperature. These variables will fire their associated events every time they change. They can also be used in conditionals. So programming actions will only be executed if a variable is above or below a certain level or in a certain state. Programming actions is where you have the most control over the relays. You can open or close them or just trigger them. If you trigger them, they will do whatever their properties tell them to. Each relay has its own settings. You can set their types to toggle or pulse, which is just two toggles with a specified amount of time between toggles. The time is handled by our microcontroller, so you'll always get exactly the time you specify for any amount of time from milliseconds to days. Communication lag or any kind of system lag won't affect it. We default to a one second pulse since that works well to emulate buttons, for example on garage doors. If you want to trigger multiple relays at the same time, use the property link relay inputs and choose which relays you want linked. You can also manually change their state using the state properties. Power on state properties allow you to set the relays to a certain state when device is powered on or leave it on the default of restore last state and they'll be set to whatever state they were when power was turned off. A description for each property can be found in the documentation tab. At the top of the list is time of last communication, a good place to look when troubleshooting. Next is show properties. Set it to show to see updated property values. It'll time out and switch back to hide to conserve controller resources. Debug mode is also good for troubleshooting. Set it to print and click the Lua tab to see what the driver has to say. Thank you for your interest in our products. Please don't hesitate to call or email if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or requests. We're always happy to listen to your needs, whether it's a quick driver change or a whole new product. We're all in this together.